Buenos dias, America. What up, Jericho Green here with you in the AM. And I got to talk about the NFL again. I'm going to have to start saying I try to be done with the NFL, but they won't let me. Damn. But Eric Reed, the former unemployed player, got picked up by the Carolina Panthers. And on Sunday during the game, he runs out on the field because he had beef with a player from another team, Malcolm Jenkins. And he wasn't even supposed to be on the field. It's only team captains out there during the coin toss. So I hope this aids in your ass being fired again at the end of the season, being that you're only under a one-year contract. So I heard in the comment section that quite a few times people asking me to check out, you know, Eric Reed calling Malcolm Jenkins a sellout after the game. And that's what he did. He was interviewed, and they asked him about the beef he had with him, and he said he's a sellout. So just glancing at it at face value, you're thinking, or I was thinking at least, you know, another demo rat slave calling a black person who escaped that plantation a sellout. So I was like, man, fuck Eric Reed. Even more so. I was already saying fuck him. Because this dumbass was right next to Colin Kaepernick, that dirty Q-tip looking motherfucker, kneeling during the national anthem. But don't let Malcolm Jenkins get off that easy. Because you know what, people? He is a sellout. <laughs> yep, that's right. I said it. Malcolm Jenkins is a sellout because if you remember correctly, last season, Malcolm Jenkins was interviewed at his locker and instead of speaking to the media, he had these giant cue cards with all these bullshit lies on him, these these statistics about uh, black men in the just, you know, black men being shot by the police and we're only a small percentage of the population, but we represent 25% of people killed by the police. He failed to mention that white people are killed by the police at twice that amount um and you know 60 percent of people in prison are people of color that's probably because they're committing crimes you see you don't have run-ins with the police if you're not breaking the fucking law but again you know it's two privileged people two rich men talking about how bad they have it in this country i don't understand that these guys make millions of dollars for less than a year of work, but they're oppressed somehow. And they're upset about all these bad things happening to black people. Well, like any other group of people in this great country, if you do bad shit, the police are gonna come talk to you. If you make fucked up decisions, if you have babies out of wedlock, if you're, you know, you have you come from a single parent home, you're fucked. So I don't understand where this oppression comes from. I don't understand what these clowns are still talking about. What is the problem? And what has your kneeling done? Like I said yesterday in my video about that dumb bitch cheerleader that was kneeling during the national anthem at the Niner game. No police officer who's about to whoop somebody's ass said, oh, they're kneeling. All right, guys, cut it. Let's call it a day. Put the night sticks away. I know. You had your sapper gloves on, nice sticks out, steel toe boots, ready to whoop some colored ass, but they're kneeling. Let's pack it up. Said no fucking officer ever. But I agree with Eric Reed for once, and this will probably be the only time, but Malcolm Jenkins is a sellout. So is Eric Reed. They're working for the man. They're working for the most racist organization on earth, the Democrats. They have the track record to prove it. Slavery. Jim Crow, mandatory minimum sentencing, Planned Parenthood. What the fuck else do you need to know? And in order to get it, to get into the NFL, you need to go to a college. So I'm going to go out on a limb and assume that these dudes are somewhat educated. But they're still stupid as fuck. Now, when I, like I said, when I first looked at it, I was like, oh man, fuck Eric Reed, I'm about to get in his ass. But both of them are sorry as shit. Malcolm Jenkins is a fucking idiot, too. By putting those cue cards up, those lies, what have you done? Except perpetuate these lies and myths that the black man is under attack in America. That black people are in the crosshairs of the racist white police. Now, if you look at some of these, some of the more, uh, I guess for lack of a better word, popular... Uh, mainstream incidents with the police, Sandra Bland, uh, what's his name, Philando Castile, 
Um, there was another one. This guy got shot by accident by a, a cop in Brooklyn. Um, it was, it was the other one. Some kid got shot in Chicago by the police. Guess what? All the cops involved in those, those situations weren't even white. It was a Mexican cop, two Asian cops and a black cop. And actually, statistically, you're more likely to be as a black person, you're more likely to be shot by a black cop than a white cop. How long did it take me to poke holes in those statistics? 10 seconds? Come on, man. Who's believing this shit? But they keep spewing it out. They keep ejaculating their lies all over the faces of the Americans dumb enough to believe it. When you work, when you support a group that supports the death and destruction of your own people, you're a sellout. Eric Reed, who the fuck are you to call him a sellout when your stupid ass is up there talking about, oh, my people have been oppressed for 400 years. You don't look very oppressed to me. After that game, when you hopped in your fucking foreign car where the price probably had two commas in it, how the fuck are you oppressed? Have you given up all your riches and moved in the ghetto? Fuck no, you haven't. You pulled up to a gated community where you know the security guard by name. You lying motherfucker, you. I think it's that, I've said this before, people, I think it's that, it's like a, a survivor's guilt. I'm not sure whether Malcolm Jenkins came from the hood or not. I know Eric Reed had a pretty privileged upbringing. Or maybe they feel they missed out on this black experience. Maybe they feel because they didn't grow up in the hood. They didn't have it bad. They weren't ducking bullets, selling dope. Maybe they feel that they missed out on what the black experience is. And why the fuck is that the black experience? Why is sadness and death and drugs and violence, why is that the black experience? Why can it be a version of the American experience? Why, is that, why does that have to be the black experience? Why does the experience with black people have to be fucked up? You don't hear anybody talking about, oh, I didn't grow up with the white experience, the Asian experience, the Mexican experience. Because nobody else believes that bullshit. Nobody else has their fucking hand held by the government or how they want you to see it. They want you to think that's the way it is than black folks. They like to see us as the Fabergé eggs of ethnicities. We can't handle it. We can't handle the truth. Now, you know, <laughs> you know, and I know this will not be the last time I have to talk about the fucking NFL. Please follow me on the Twitters at green underscore Jericho. And like I always say, people, I try to be done with the left, but they just won't let me. Jericho Green, I'm out.